If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. So hey guys, um, today's video is on the Shaolin. I know many of you were waiting for a very long time to see a video on the Shaolin. So finally, here it is. Um, so the problem with the Shaolin was it was not idling and it will only start with the choke on and you will have to hold down the choke like this and then only it will run otherwise it won't even run it will just die so you know that was pretty crazy because I kind of took everything apart cleaned it properly made sure that you know the carburetor is 100% clean uh, first I cleaned it with carb spray then I cleaned it with you know uh, uh, ultrasonic cleaner then I even ended up boiling the carburetor to see if you know something is stuck then you know we used compressed air to clean all the passages nothing was working so it, it would behave exactly how you know it it was the first time so there was no difference in that another challenge was when this bike came to me it came in the same manner it won't idle so i couldn't ride this bike um, even once before the uh, before we started dismantling it so i didn't know exactly where the problem was i knew that you know the pilot circuit is blocked but i didn't know where exactly it was blocked we tried everything out then finally um, what happened is today uh, I mean, actually, yesterday this guy arrived. So people who are, you know, following me from the Team BHP days will understand that this is the first Shogun that I ever built. This was my first ever Shogun. Uh, in my Shogun story, also I have told you how you know the Shogun was bought. Um, you know what were the challenges that we had to go through after we bought the Shogun. You know the kind of trolling that I had to you know go through while you know owning this and restoring it the challenge was uh, when last time I restored it I actually uh, didn't want to buy another bike but I wanted a project so ultimately as soon as the restoration was over we ended up selling this bike and uh, I couldn't even ride this for let's say 100 meters because the guy was ready you know even before the build was complete he would follow up with me every day asking me you know where the build status is you know how things are can i come tomorrow to pick it up so it was all you know funky stuff so finally um you know this bike actually went to that guy then the mechanic fiasco happened you know and then finally this bike was put up for sale and my boss ex-boss actually bought the bike so um, what has happened is over a period of time things are not very happy with this bike as you can see there is a lot of tape which is holding the bike together and also when we built it last time we used an rx mudguard so this is not the one that is supposed to be there plus there are a lot of you know things that i didn't do perfectly because at that time my experience with restorations was just two three bikes so this time uh, my plan is to do a proper restoration and it will be done with you guys around so you know i will tell you at each stage what needs to be done how to plan it what we are going to do you know i'm giving myself a challenge that i'm planning to keep the budget under 10k uh, to fully restore it from you know front to back pin to pin uh, we are going to reuse a lot of components in the bike we are not going to just throw away things and you know buy everything new so uh, a lot of things will be reconditioned so this would be a video that would tell you how to plan a restoration on a budget okay so a lot of good content is going to come on this bike so i'm pretty excited about it um, so yeah uh, we got sidetracked a bit so what happened is uh, i took the carburetor out of this bike and i installed it in this i didn't do anything just started the bike and it started running absolutely fine so now i knew for sure that nothing else was causing a problem and it was specifically 
the pilot circuit in this bike so a lot of times you know we ignore these kind of things like you know i also get a lot of people uh, you know reaching out to me on instagram facebook telling me that you know their bike will only start on pilot and i mean only start on choke and it won't idle so they say that you know we have done everything we have cleaned the carburetor multiple times we have gone ahead and bought uh, new jets so you know people usually are not able to pinpoint the issue so i was also going through the same uh, process i didn't have first of all time to sit down with the bike and get it troubleshoot properly so the easy way out was to you know take the carburetor from the shogun and shove it up in the shaolin so i did that and then you know my suspicion was kind of uh, i i knew 100% that it is now the block pilot circuit so i took the carburetor out of this and one of our subscribers actually suggested that i use a strand out of the brake cable so you know it was a very good suggestion though i don't recommend you using any harsh wire through the pilot jets or main jets because you know that would increase the size of the jet and if you are using a bike which is a little high performance bike with a lot of mods um, it would be absolutely uh, you know necessary that you make sure that uh, the size of jets are not altered so i was little skeptical then i took it apart so when this bike actually um, came to me for the first time i had to drill out the pilot jet because it was not idling properly so i thought maybe you know whatever uh, that drilled material was will still be there so i took it apart and i started cleaning it with a strand of wire and you won't believe what happened you know the brand spanking new jet which we brought i mean bought from bangalore uh, which was made by natco was crap so what has happened is there was no hole in this jet so this jet externally looked you know amazing it looked like a brand new jet but basically there was no hole so that was the reason why it was not idling so i'll just show you how you know nice it is now okay so just turn the ignition on there is no battery in this so you might not see the rpm working so that's a sweet idling noise and it is running absolutely fine i took it for a 100 meter ride uh, because i didn't want to go long today especially since you know lockdown covid etc etc so i thought it would be better that uh, i take a very short spin i checked if all five gears are engaging which is happening the bike is running fine there is a small bit of uh, piston ring noise that is primarily because this bike um was revving a bit high with the old carburetor configuration and because of which uh, looks like it might have scored the inside of the cylinder but that is not a problem it can go away if it is run in properly and this bike since the last rebuild was not you know used for a very long time so that is the thing another small issue is uh, these fins actually um uh, broke away when i was rebuilding the engine actually the entire thing fell down so a couple of fins broke away so what i'm going to do is i have these pieces so i'll just take them get them spot welded because a proper welding is not going to happen now we'll have to take the cylinder out and do it so that is one thing that i need to do on this bike second thing is uh, these footrest are different from shogun there is a nut which comes down so we'll have to put something which is similar to that then courtesy my dogs they eat the front and back mud flaps so that needs to i need to procure that then uh, the mud guard front mud guard actually got rusted badly this was plated 
and the plating quality was not that great that's why this happened so we need to get a new mudguard i've asked the owner of the bike to get one mm -hmm. then this mirror is not the right mirror basically this is the left side mirror so the person who sent that basically sent us two mirrors both left so i had to just fix it to show him that you know these are um, basically different and look at the funny thing okay this is made by fm um, there is a number here and then it says l in this one it just says fm there is no number and there is no uh, left or right so maybe that's why this guy made a small mistake other than that it needs a battery it doesn't have a battery and then i have to make all of these things tight these things are just there uh plus the seat is not completely fixed there is no bulb in the um, tail light so these are a couple of things that are pending other than that this bike is fully done also i need to check for a small leak in the front fork so that also needs to be done plus we need to fix the horn um, wiring is all there but we need to fix it so yeah um, that is the update on shaolin it's been a very long while because i was not getting another bike to test the carburetor i kind of you know uh, didn't have much options to sit down and work on and see i do not have the kind of time to find out what could be wrong or you know see uh, exactly where the problem is so it would be easy for me to just swap out things from another bike and you know ensure that everything is fine so that's what happened now we finally fixed the issue the issue is now 100% gone uh, now we need to just iron out small small stuff which are there like you know the fins on the cylinder then you know this is slightly loose so we need to tighten that plus we need to get a battery for this bike uh, i am thinking whether we should have a suzuki return here like this one but this one is all broken we have new panels for this bike also so thinking of about that probably you know i'll consult with the owner and if he wants a suzuki sticker here we will probably put that so yeah that's about the bike um runs great changes all five gears you know but compared to that one it is definitely not a performer so you know if your expectation is that this bike is going to be like that one no it is not so let me break your heart uh, this was you know the sheep in wolf's clothing and that was the wolf in the sheep's clothing so that's the difference between these two bikes so yeah there is some interesting content that is going to come now i am going to you know show you guys the similarity differences in both the bikes in the future so stay tuned if you have not subscribed please subscribe to the channel so yeah see you soon bye bye